Yo, good morning, Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. I hope everybody's having a good day or will have a good day. We have a Schlagzana from Clan of Babbins, which will be Skills Clan in NA. Welcome, good to see you, and uh, thanks for tuning in. All that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we have a bit of a wide ranging discussion today. We're going to talk about Artie, we're going to talk about the HE changes. We're going to talk about this game. Schlags in his T150 top tier in a tier 6 and he's seeing tier 4's. This is very unusual. A lot like being a tier 10 actually and seeing seven, 9's and 8's. There's only one arty on each side. We're going to see uh, also some strong Russian armor happening here. It's a lot like having a mouse actually in a tier 10 battle but it's mid tier. He's the only guy on this side. The other team has a T150. T150's hit for 300 alpha. They're hard hitting. And at this tier, some pretty good armor. Although, some of the TDs shouldn't have too much trouble punching through it. And of course, there's always number two. Plus, there's the Artie. And then we have new HE thrown in there, right? I said this would be a wide-ranging discussion. This guy just pops out, and we end up missing. That's really loud. Kind of a derpy gun on this tank. There's going to be a few misses. There's going to be a few amazing Russia shots. There's a little snap and a pen for 305. Now, normally you don't hang out in this spot. Of course normally at this tier there's more than one arty. The reason you don't hang out this spot, or at least in the past, is that you would get absolutely schwammered by artillery. And this guy pops out again and gets himself dead. T1 doesn't really know what to do. Actually not a bad tank for taking on a T150 if you press 2. But he's a tear down. He's not really interested in eating 300 alpha shots. He's three shots away from being dead. And he's probably going to take about seven or eight to get rid of the T-150 provided he pinned all of them. Now no artillery goes there. I think the artillery is busy on the other side of the map. So we're going to push on in here. We've had an artillery nerf really at the end of the day that's what it is. It's a change. They attempted to make it more tactical. Gave them three shells but really nerfed the damage, didn't help, didn't do anything for the accuracy and the shells really don't do what they need to do I think is the way to put it. They do what they're intended to do in regards to one is a AP shell and it does AP kinds of penetration mechanics or heat depending on which vehicle it is. One of them is a stun shell and it does stun albeit uh, less and less damage than it used to the old stun shell. The other one is supposedly a more damaging HE which it is yes more damaging than the stun shell that's currently out but it doesn't have much splash so you really gotta hit close or directly to get anything out of that. There's the artillery finally it shows up. 138. So now we've got this situation where heavy tanks are pretty well buffed against artillery and then you chuck on top of that the HE change that just happened. You just have to aim right? <laughs> the lower caliber, lower caliber HE shells do damage, right? <laughs> the arguments are have been interesting regarding both HE and artillery, and unfortunately, here's the strong Russian. Uh, here we go. It's just boop. Okay, <laughs> he didn't do 470. By the way, he only did 247. That surprised me at first. I'm like, I don't think it can do 470 even with a high roll unless you do an ammo rack, but that was two people hitting the thing more or less at the same time and the total damage shows up so that can that can trick you. So we've had heavy tanks basically buffed. Whether that was at the intention or not, that is the result of what's happened, especially heavy tanks with good armor. We're at 645 balance, 1448 damage. This game is still in the is still uh, questionable hasn't been hasn't been answered there goes the electo he's making a runner and I'm thinking at this point alright we're out in the middle got a Pudel Lightness they have a bunch of tanks they have an artillery it's gotta be over right just watch Pudel is uselessly shooting apparently not carrying number two he should be if he wants to pin at this point a T-150 or aim better potentially, I don't know, but now he's tracking him, he's trying to pin him down. The S35CA fires gold and gets a bounce, a little bit lucky. 
at that point because that thing can actually hit pretty hard. And then he gets seen, and really had he he been able to stay hidden, this probably ends. Artillery, now the Pudel is frustrated and he's shooting HE. He's, <laughs> the, Arty, the Arty chips in another 7. The Pudel does 10 and 10 and 9 or whatever it was. <laughs> he must have been believing the hype that small caliber guns do damage. I suppose it did do damage. And it may have been before the patch. That little gun firing HE doesn't do anything. I think it probably does. But they chip off a few more hit points off him, and he's down to 440 damage, or 440 hit points, and he's got 2,205 bounced. The argument from the artillery players in the past was always, well, you need us to take care of hold down tanks and hold down TDs in strong positions. And the, the answer, or the position of people who didn't like artillery, to include me to some extent, was that we can do it without. We, the game doesn't need it. We can play the game without it. And the, the real answer is they're both right. In some games, having artillery to stop something like this happening and HE, the way it used to work, although no real derp guns have been firing at him. So really, the HE change, I don't think, did much of anything for the Pudel. He probably would have done about the same damage there. But both sides are essentially correct. You you do need them on occasion to take out hold down tanks, and you can quite easily, I did a video recently, play without it and enjoy yourself quite a bit, especially if you're the person who gets focused by artillery quite a bit because you're active, or they're strength, not stream sniping, uh, name sniping or clan sniping, well, all the various reasons people think that they might get focused or their, their color is cool. It's a deep, sparkly purple with uh, glitter in it. And little starbursts coming out of your name. Um, I'm the best, number one, you know, all that kind of stuff. But the answer is they're they were all they're all right. It's all it's all true. So the question becomes what's the balance now between having heavy tanks that can kind of roll through things, shrugging off artillery shells and H E shells and whatnot. What's the balance between that and going back to the battle days? the second iteration or so of Artie, where it was just, at, the whole game was Artie-centric. You know, if you didn't kill off the Artie first, you probably lost the game because they hit so hard. Now, we always make uh, fun of Russian accuracy, but he has a little bit of trouble right here getting any kind of thing going. I don't know, if, I think he even misses that shot. Yeah, that shot even misses. <laughs> There's another 45. The Electo is now shooting HE. <laughs> Uh, it's it's hard for me to tell in this in this game whether this is just low tier gameplay new new slash bad players usually new not really understanding the whole idea of it. Um, they'd have probably fired HE four months ago potentially, and the change doesn't really matter to them potentially because they they that's what they do anyway. Or the fact that they've heard about HE now does more damage, right? if you aim <laughs> or maybe the the case is low caliber shells do more damage so let's let's give that HE a shot I've never seen so much HE shot from such small guns in one game so I don't know if this is are they testing it have they heard something do they is this just what they do down at this tier um, I don't think it's number three I've been down here I've played games at, at tier six quite a bit lately and it could be a one-off you can't go you can't make a, a correlation off of just one game that this is how the whole game goes but I thought it was a good it was a good match to sort of discuss all these things because they really are we, we can parse it down we can break it out and go all right let's talk HE let's talk SPGs let's talk game balance all that stuff separately but when you make so many big changes right in a row or together anyway they all sort of jumble together and change the meta potentially so I think it's a good discussion. And I don't know where I am on. I know that a lot of you guys disagree with me. I've had multiple conversations in the comments. I will admit that I thought it was going to be an artillery buff for mid-tiers, but I don't think it is, really. You could get you can get lucky with the AP shells and things like that and have good games, but I think overall, 
And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I think this because and it's been coming up in the forum quite a bit, and I tested it myself and was pretty surprised. My M44, which I'm, I'm passable with, was at 64% MOE. I have one mark, but I it, it had gone below it. I spent too much goof, time goofing around trying to counter and some other crap. Somebody said, hey, it's amazing how many fewer people are playing Artie and how poorly Artie's doing right now because I played one game, had a good game, and my MOE jumped. I looked at it. I played it. I went from 64 to 78 on my MOE. So after a week or so of this patch being out. That's pretty telling. That's pretty telling. So it really was a, a pretty hard nerf here. So we're going to have a schlag come up here and he, you're thinking, oh, it's going to be one more nice little addition to his damage. Watch this. Oh, he missed. <laughs> I, I replayed this multiple times. I think he hit right behind, behind what looks like kind of the turret thing, right up here into the rocks or somewhere. I don't, that was crazy how badly that was missed. 2,187. 523 assists, 2,315 bounced. Okay, this game could happen four weeks ago, ten weeks ago, two years ago. It's a T-150. It's a strong tank in this matchmaker. It could certainly shrug this much off. But I think it's worth noting that that's we're not six weeks ago. We're now. And there seems to be less artillery. Artillery is doing less damage affecting heavy strong tanks like this less uh, the he change appears to have also done some things although maybe not in this game based on the caliber of guns that we're shooting but then i have to ask the question why were so much he being flung at them you know that's how these things become interrelated is more he being flung at them because they're new and they don't know or because the artillery can't slow it down because they don't have enough artillery to take on tanks like this that just drive around the map blowing things up, shrugging off everything nearly that comes at them. Also, he wasn't invulnerable. With a little bit more teamwork, they could probably worked around him and taken him out, although he had some teammates left which were keeping him down from doing that. So he just basically bull rushed through all the out into the open through it. And I have seen that happen on some games now. On my miserable Monday, I had a game where I just got I got rushed in a place that you usually don't get rushed when there's a bunch of artillery and we had three big artillery and some TDs. And I think people are kind of figuring out that they're not getting wrecked as hard and that that's now becoming potentially a viable solution to breaking to breaking, you know, forward positions. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, I, I really have my feet in both sides of it. I, I am sympathetic to the nerfing artillery i've said that a million times i don't like what they did because i think it i think it was unnecessary screw job to artillery players i think they could have adjusted it and made artillery you know a little more useful but not as annoying that's a video for another day the original sin of hiding on the red line and popping people while not being in danger is is still there although counter is more of a thing i have seen more of it I don't think it's as effective as it could be. So I agree with that, but I also would like the artillery players not to leave because I don't want, <laughs> we don't, we can't afford to lose more players. There's been a couple arguments from people that they believe somehow this is going to bring players back more than arty players are leaving. I don't believe that. I think they're just plain old more casual players who play arty who once it stops working well for them or just there's no more bang for the buck. They're just going to leave. Are they paying customers? I don't know. I don't know, but is it is it okay to get rid of the free to play just because they don't pay? That now you have a smaller pop. You know what I'm saying? It all it's all interrelated. And then the last thing, of course, is the the reasoning behind it. There's lots of discussions on that. I think a lot of people think it's because they wanted war, war gaming wanted people to, to uh, push two more and shoot more special rounds. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know. But yeah, you follow the money. I agree with that. But I I don't. I think it was an honest attempt to, to fix the game that just went awry, to be quite honest, without uh, without assigning any nefarious background reasons to it. Of course they want to make money, got it. And maybe they even go, hey, one of the side effects of this is is more gold to shot and we hopefully we make a little more money. That Those discussions clearly happen. But I don't think overall that the change was purely so they can force people to shoot more gold and to get rid of RD players. I I just don't believe that. I suppose it's possible, but I just don't believe that. 
Anyway, let me know what you think down there. Is this game a harbinger of the future? Is this the kind of gameplay we're going to see more of? Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is it not a thing? Let me know. All right, that's all I've got. See ya.